Um, so that, that was very insightful. Uh, the last question I have as just towards the panelists is, uh, of course, towards Rakesh Ji. Uh, I'm going to switch gears a little bit and take the focus away from technicals and, uh, you know, ask him, what are, what, uh, what are the risks in terms of scaling a strategy from, say, 10 lakhs of capital to 100 crores of capital? Very difficult question. <laughs> trading 10 lakhs and trading 100 crores, how is it different? That is the question. So I think everybody has experience of that. The moment you buy 1,000 shares, you gain 30% in one month. The moment you buy 10,000 shares, and you lose 10% the next day. So <laughs> that, is, that is the experience for everybody. See, with 10 lakhs, first of all, you don't have that liquidity and execution issue because you can uh, just have a one trade and you're done with it. So your mathematically your slippage can be very, very less. The ease of execution will be very high. You don't need to invest much and all. <coughs> 10 lakhs can be high for other people, but in most people present here, 10 lakhs is not that high. The only problem is like when you invest 10 lakhs or you start trading with 10 lakhs, First important problem that comes is your emotions which goes with 100 crores and your emotions that goes with 10 lakhs are way together different. It's all like it's a different ball game. When the money is put on the line, the fear and greed and hope and everything comes at a play if, if you are playing of a size. So 10 lakhs, if it doesn't matter to you much, so you are not bothered about media and follow the news and what is happening and uh, is somebody bombing somebody or so on and so forth. So you are not bothered about it. You just uh, get up to the morning and just see what your portfolio performing or what is happening and all. But if you have sufficient meat in the business, like a good flash, like 100 crores, uh, like you're in the game. You're in the game for a variety of emotions as I listed, like for fear and greed and, and your decision making process is altogether different if, it, if you're managing 10 lakhs or you're managing 100 crores. Another important point, how these 100 crores have come to you, that is important. Whether it belongs to you <laughs> or it belongs to your clients. So game, game again changes if it belongs to you. The emotions are really up and high running. Your mathematical age of the strategy goes for a toss and <laughs> you start executing uh, something which is not provided for in your strategies or a portfolio, whatever follow you are following. So it goes for a toss because it's own money and uh, it can be a significant portion of your life saving and uh, you're looking at a retirement five years down the line and probably you're not very happy. So you might choose to discontinue in between just because out of this obnoxious fears and uh, kind of a situation where you're, you're supposed to stick to your guns when such thing happens, but since the size of amount involved is very, very high, it will not let you stick to the guns. And if it is, it belongs to Kang, yes, it, it makes easy for you sometimes, but at the same time, it is a double-edged sword. You might choose, say like, okay, I'm done with it, like my fees is 2% per annum and I say 20% profit, this is, this, is, this is it. This is what I do, this is what my strategy is doing and uh, probably you're done with it. But when do you, when actually you encounter losses, when there is uncertainty in the market, even clients starts kind of putting pressure on you. They start questioning like what is happening, are we within the... Uh, four corners we defined at the time of accepting funds or not, or is this no, it's something has changed, should we, should we withdraw in between, or what do we do? Like, it puts a lot of pressure on you when, uh, when you accept public money and then uh, you want to stay put to what, though you might be believing in the whatever strategy or portfolio management or whatever you do, but the, there's, if there's too much pressure from client side, probably you might end up giving up on your strategy and end up giving the money back and this, uh, this will basically destroy your mental makeup. See, you are believing something, that is why you have accepted money from the client. But as 
I explained you in my earlier slides, like when we were forced uh, with a drawdown of like faced with a drawdown of say 24 and a half percentage instead of 14 and a half. In most cases, client would have withdrawn the money from you. If you are the portfolio manager, in most cases they will say you don't know what you are doing. You better better give our monies back, and uh, whatever 76 percent is left, we are happy with that. Please give it us back. So that is that is what happens. Theoretically, it should not of like uh, whatever is tested on 10 lakhs should be true for 100 crores. Theoretically, yes, except for the slippage part of it, because uh, suppose you have a 10 lakh fund and you invest 5% in each stock, then it's very easy to buy small caps and mid caps. But suppose you run a 100 crore fund and you allocate 5 crore, then, then the liquidity matters, the size of the company matters, and your return will dramatically change as the size increases your return can dramatically change and uh, that you have to live with it like you can't buy 10 lakh shares of some company which is market worth say uh, market cap of 25 crore or something like that you can't buy 2 crore out of it you know it, almost 10 percent of the capital how to negotiate this that is that is the question uh, we have in mind so one of the important things which i i would recommend and i do it is to remain detached that is what you can do like hard number like absolute numbers can actually uh, put you off the track so uh, to remain detached usually i think in terms of percentage suppose i have a loss of 1 crore a day and suppose i have a loss of 1 lakh a day so 1 lakh a day is basically on 10 lakhs is 10% and suppose i have a 1 crore loss a day on 100 crore it is 1% so when you start thinking in terms of percentages, your life becomes a little easy and try and kind of remain detached from the outcome. And you, you must verify and re-verify your processes time and again. That is what you should do and you should not get bogged down by absolute numbers, whether you're making 5 crore or 1 crore, every now and then you should not che even check your account balances. That is what, uh, that is, what is suggested and uh, stick to the process, uh, believe in what you are doing, that, is, that will help you to stay the course and scale up, uh, that is what the recommendation is. Thank you.